Hey guys, and welcome back to another uh, Encursus tutorial. Today is going to be a tutorial about a question I've gotten from many, 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 many people um, over the years uh, since I made my first Encursus video. Um, the question being, can you run Encursus on Linux, or sorry, on Windows? Um, and usually the answer is kind of, but not really, because um, there is this thing out there called PD Curses, which is a port of the um, Encurses library for Windows, but it's, at least in my experience, it's not very easy to set up, it's not user friendly, it's very machine and um, compiler specific, um, there's all these problems with it, it's not nearly as simple as just using Encurses like you would expect on any other system. Um, but recently, um, Windows came out with this thing called the uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL, which um, allows you to essentially install uh, distributions of Linux on Windows. Um, some of you may have heard of this already, but until recently I didn't think about the fact that this opens up the opportunity to run uh, Encurses on Windows, basically running on Windows. Technically you're running it on Ubuntu in Windows, that's why the title of this video is probably going to be uh, Encurses in Windows, kind of, or something like that. But um, it's basically as good as you're going to get for the time being in a user-friendly manner. So. I'm not going to run through the full installation of Ubuntu on uh, Windows. It's not very difficult. You can just go to the uh, Microsoft Store, um, and from here, you go to the search bar and you just search for Ubuntu, and you'll see a variety of different installations here for Ubuntu. There's also other distributions of Linux, um, and I'm sure that Encursors will run fine on these two, similar to, for instance, Kali Linux, Asus, Debian here. Um, I'm sure it'll run on those. I've only tested on Ubuntu, so um, can't guarantee that it will, but it should work on all these other distributions as well. So go ahead and install one of these. I'll have a link in the description for um, Ubuntu's inst like official instructions on how to install on Windows, but it's really simple. It's pretty much just in hit install. Then once you have that installed, you can go down to your search bar here and search for Ubuntu and that'll open up uh, a terminal where we can uh, it basically launches Ubuntu um, from the command line. Um, and from here, um, in order to actually get Encurses up and running, uh, we actually have to install a couple libraries. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do anyways is do a sudo app get um, upgrade or update. Um, so, you know, you do your update um, and then you also want to do an upgrade when this is done. I just recently did this, so it's not going to find anything new and it'll run really quick. Yeah, But you should do that before you uh, run this next command. So this is the command you're going to run to actually install uh, the Encurses library um, right here. I'm just going to copy and paste it for to make it simpler. Um, I think I'm going to copy and paste it to make it simpler. Hold on. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'll type it because it's not copying and pasting. So sudo app get install and then the library is called libncurses5-dev and then libncurses-w5-dev. Um, it's going to tell me I already have these installed, so it's not going to work for me, but that's all you really need to do to install ncurses. At this point, we can actually create a... Um, uh, ncurses file and compile it. And just to prove it to you, um, I created a little folder called ncurses and I'm going to create a file. I'm just going to call it test or uh, I'll call it ncurses.c. And so, what all we need to do is we need to include, um, it's good to include standard lib.h. Uh, we're going to include sdio.h and then we're going to include ncurses.h. Actually, I'm going to include curses.h. It um, doesn't really matter, I don't think, which one you include, but um, I prefer the look of curses.h anyways. And then we'll create our main function. Whoops, don't need another one. We'll create our main function here. Um, I'll just give it no parameters because it doesn't need any parameters for any reason. Uh, we'll have it return to zero. And now we can create our little ncurses program. So first we'll call init screen. If I'm going too fast, or if any of you don't understand ncurses yet, don't worry too much. Um, I'm just demonstrating that it works. Um, and if you want to see how this all this works, or if you want an explanation of any of these things, go back and check out some of my tutorials. Um, 
on end curses. But so from here, you know, we've started our screen and we're gonna want to make sure we end the win. I always do that with those two things first, and then very simple program, I'll just have it um, get a character from the user, uh, get char, and then we'll have it um, add that char to the screen. So add char C, um, and then we'll have it do another get char just so it, it's forced to wait um, for user input before exiting. So now if we save that and then we compile it, we have to compile it using the command GCC, um, and then the name of the file, and then dash l and curses. And if we do that, it compiles just fine, gives us no errors. Um, if we look, we have a file called a.out. Um, so normally I call it something, but in this case, it just did the default name. But if we run this, you'll see that it waits for me to press something. I press a, it prints out a, and then if I press something again, it exits. So um, there you have it. Uh, end curse is running on Windows, um, or the closest thing you can get to it right now. Um, it, in the simplest way you can. Um, so I hope this answers uh, any questions out there about can you run in curses on Windows? You can, um, kind of, pretty much as close as you can get. Um, and, you know, there you have it. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys and um, look forward to some more tutorials hopefully soon uh, and maybe an explanation of why I don't record videos very much. So.